Salesforce reporting is one of the most powerful features available on the platform. It allows you to dig deep into your data, unlock powerful insights and create beautiful looking dashboards with its drag and drop editor. In this video, I'll go through 10 advanced Salesforce reporting features, which will help you put your data to work and delight your Salesforce users. First up, we got custom report types. Salesforce comes with report types out of the box for all standard objects and standard object relationships. For example, contacts and accounts or opportunities with products. Salesforce will also automatically create report types for any custom objects that are created. You can view a list of report types when you create a new report. Custom report types allow you to create different types of reports which include or exclude certain objects as well as drill into more than two objects. As you can see from the custom report type builder, this allows you to select which objects you wish to include, as well as which records will show up in the report. In addition to these features, you can also add or remove available fields in the report, as well as access fields via a lookup, meaning you can include different fields from different related objects. When filtering reports, sometimes you want to retrieve records with or without other related records. For example, to identify opportunities without any activities in the past week. Cross filters enable you to find where data does not exist, sometimes described as an exception report. When you're in the report builder, you can add a cross filter like any other filter. You can even add additional criteria using sub-filters. For example, show me contacts without activities with a status of open. This will pull a report with all contacts that have no activities. Cross filters are essential for Salesforce admins to avoid them creating unnecessary custom report types or roll-up fields. Summary formulas allow you to build custom formula fields at a summary level on a Salesforce report. These unique formulas can be used to run calculations and provide additional insights into your data. For example, you could calculate how much each account is contributing to the overall pipeline in the particular month. This example would require using the parent group val function, which allows you to grab a previous group in the report and use it to calculate a percentage at an account level. Row level formulas work in a very similar way to summary formulas. However, as the name suggests, they calculate on the row as opposed to the summary level. For example, you could create a formula that checks the billing state on the account in case objects match by showing one if true. Reporting snapshots are a very powerful feature of Salesforce that allows you to take a picture or snapshot of a particular set of Salesforce records and freeze the data for future reference. One of the most common types of use cases for reporting snapshots is to take a picture of the sales pipeline in any given week or month. This allows you to see how the sales pipeline changes over a period of time. Reporting snapshots actually require you to set up a custom object and fields in order to save the data in Salesforce and then report on it using standard functionality. Whilst reporting snapshots in the previous section capture data at specific moments in time, historical trend reporting are designed to glance back at a particular field and its previous values. This allows you, for example, to track how opportunity values change over time, such as the amount field. Due to the amount of data captured using this feature, it can increase storage rapidly and therefore is only allowed on opportunities, cases, forecasting items, and up to three custom objects, choosing up to eight fields per object. Field-to-field -field filters on the Salesforce report allows you to compare values in different fields and filter using this criteria. For example, if you ran a non-for-profit, you could filter to find individuals that have donated more this year by filtering on this field and using the greater than operator. Usually on filters, you would select a numeric value greater than 10,000, for example. However, using field to field filters, you would select another field to add as the value. Stacked summaries summarize a substantial amount of data for quicker review and comparison. This view is automatically activated when you add fields to both rows and columns and can be switched on or off at the bottom of the report builder. For example, you could ask to show the number of opportunities by account, by opportunity type. Clicking on one of the cells in the stack summary view will filter the report that sits below. And join report combines two reports that have different report types within a single view. They appear like one single report so you can get a more holistic view of the data. These are created using a feature called report blocks. For example, you could create a joined report that shows account details in block one, 
related cases in block two, and opportunities in block three. URL hacking has been a long favorite feature of many Salesforce admins, and now it's available in Salesforce Lightning. Whilst URL hacking isn't a feature per se, it does allow you to create some pretty interesting customizations on your reports. URL hacking essentially allows you to pass URL parameters to set values for filters and fields. You can set these URL parameters to be dynamic. So when someone loads up a report using a hacked URL, it will automatically set filters according to the record data the user is viewing. This means you can save cloning, replicating, or having multiple Salesforce reports for different users. As an example, you could launch an opportunity report from an account that only shows opportunities related to that specific account by passing the account URL into the report. By taking advantage of these advanced Salesforce reporting features, you can up your Salesforce game and start delighting your users and managers with even more powerful reports, even if you have a challenging data model. Let us know what your favorite reporting features are in the comments below.